Oh, it is so hot outside. Darn you, California weather. I guess I just have to pour myself a nice cold beverage. Shh, I am 21. I can do whatever I want with alcohol. Like, consume it. And consume it. I know that was so fake. Shh. Hey guys, it's James Henry II here, and today's video is part two. Two, 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 two. Mm. Of my Glee top 20 group songs. Now, if you guys remember me saying in my last two, before this, the last one, videos of my decision making process that this was really hard, especially for the duets. Roll the clip. This is probably the hardest list that I had to narrow down to just 10. I have to say, this was a really, really, really hard decision to make. I did lie. I think all of these are just going to be very difficult for me to choose, but these ones, and I'm going to bite my tongue because I probably will be lying later on in the next video, this one was a really hard decision to make because all of the songs that the groups did were great. Some, I mean, obviously some, I did not really enjoy them performing on the show, but the ones that I did want on the episode didn't make it. It was just so hard to choose between 60 to 20. I know that's still a lot of songs, but still those 20 songs were like, they had to be like up there on my list of I cannot, I, I could listen to it all the time. And like I said, you guys can click down there for the Spotify playlist that I'm going to link down below for you guys to listen to these top songs so that you guys don't have to listen to them in this video. You guys can listen to them fully, you guys can follow me on Spotify, and all my other social media links will be down below. Thanks. Let's get down to business. Number 10. Lean on me from season one. Now this song, like I said in the last video, I love the songs that the Glee Club members put together to help show that they support another Glee Club member, or in this case, two Glee Club members. If you guys remember, in season one, this is when we found out that Quinn was pregnant, and we still thought that Finn was the father. But it was Puck who was the father, but Finn didn't know that yet. So this song was the Glee Club members knowing that they are there for Quinn and Finn, for their baby, and that they will support them no matter what. And so the song was perfect, and I remember the first time I heard this, I kind of cried a bit because it was just so like, they were just so like, we are here for you guys, like don't try to push us away, like you know that we are going to be there for you no matter what. If you guys need somewhere to stay, you guys can stay with us. Anything you need, we will be there for you. You can lean on us. And that's exactly what they told them in song. And it was just... Ugh. I still, like, the ending gives me chills to this day. I still can't ever get over the fact that it was just such a great song. And oh, I love it so much. And as you guys will see in their later songs, I can't... I can't let go of season one. Number 9, Like a Prayer from Season 1 Okay, so this song... I remember originally, before I even knew what Glee was, before I even watched Glee, Like a Prayer by Madonna was one of those songs, like the video was super controversial, and I just love the song, but then Glee just made it so much better with their choir at the end, their Oh, it's just so good. They're modern music and the performance was so amazing Like I seriously wish I would have seen the first time that the Glee went on tour because they performed this number and oh, Just watching the videos was so great and so, oh, I just love all the vocals in it They kill it and I still get chills like I can listen to it on blast and the ending is so good and one of my favorite videos that I found on Tumblr actually I see if, I'll see if I can find the video. It'll be here if I do it's them rehearsing um, the performance uh, wherever they rehearsed, and it's just, it made me cry. I remember I downloaded the video actually because I just wanted to have it, and oh, it just brings back so much memories. I remember watching it live, like I was sitting on my couch at my old house, and I was so young. I was like a freshman in high school when this was happening, and oh man, it just brings back so much memories of when it first started, and 
I still get nostalgic just even talking to you guys about these songs. So, number nine was Like a Prayer from season one. Number eight, Loser Like Me from season two. Now this song, it's, it was their original song. I mean, the whole episode was original song. And I think the first original song was My Headband by Rachel, but of course that wasn't like released as a single. But then it was Get It Right, and then it was their group performance of Loser Like Me. And this one, as, as, okay, I don't want to say it, but as stupid as the lyrics are, like, L-O-S-E-R, I can only be who I are, like, come on. It's funny, it's, it's glee, so of course it has to be kind of silly, and it's like for kids. For teenagers, but it's, and it's supposed to make you feel good and be like, yeah, we can be different and weird and funny and dumb and stupid, but at least we're having fun doing that. So I guess give them props for that, but I just hate, I can only be who I are. Come on. But I guess it fits, so kudos to you, Adam Anders. But this song is amazing because I just love my favorite part is when they're at the end of the performance when they have like the slushy, the slushies, and they just go whoosh into the audience. And it's just so fun, like I'm so happy. And now I listen to the song, and it's kind of like, and even they say shake it off, it's kind of like Taylor Swift, shake it off. Like, yeah, I'm a loser, so, so what? I'm still gonna do great things in life for me, not for you. Sorry about it. Number seven, Keep Holding On from season one. Okay, I think this was the episode when we all found out that Quinn was pregnant and then she got kicked out and blah 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 and I just remember the video or their I just remember the performance and it was just so beautiful and so pretty because they're all wearing white and I remember it was like when Finn was like torn between Rachel and Quinn and so at the end he like puts his hands in between them he's holding both their hands and then at the end of it, Quinn just runs off stage and it's just like, oh, Quinn, we're here for you. We were here for you. We are here for you. Then, to make it even, like, sadder, is that the Glee Project, if you guys remember that show, if you guys didn't watch it, whenever someone got eliminated, they would sing this song um, at the end of the episode and then they would leave. And it's just like, yeah, keep holding on because we're going to make it through. Me. I had a very depressing way story behind my reasoning for liking the song so much back when it first came out is because when I was in high school, I was a sophomore, and basically all of my friends were seniors that year. So they were all graduating, and I was going to be left behind because I was the youngest of all of my friends. So I was like, wow, like my friends are going to be graduating and starting their new lives and college and all this stuff, and I was going to still be in high school, but then I said, you know what, this song keep holding on, you are still in high school, you will make more friends, which I did. But I just remember every night after, it was during one of my shows that I was performing in, I would go home after each show and cry myself to sleep for that song because it was just so sad. Because I missed, I, would, I already missed my friends and it wasn't even the first, end of the first semester yet. But the song has a very, very, very special place in my heart. And it's Avril Lavigne. I mean, Avril Lavigne is great. I mean, they did it, the song was really, it's so good. Okay, now this one, I know, it, don't get mad at me again, guys, but this one is one of those songs that was never ever recorded. It was just on the show, but it was one of those rare moments on Glee when you're just like, wow, look how much fun they're having. If you guys remember in season one, they were doing the episode where it was, it was Sue's Glee Club versus Will's Glee Club. And so the Glee Club got split in half. But then they came together because they missed one another and they performed number six, Ride With Me from season one. Now, because I love this song so much and because it's really short, I'm going to show you guys the clips. I can't remember at the top of my head, but thank you to this YouTuber right here for having the video on their channel. Go follow them, go subscribe to them, go like their videos. If they have more videos, I'll check right now. But this YouTuber posted the video and I am forever grateful because it is my... It's one of those moments where it's literally just the entire Glee Club singing, no pre-recorded vocals, no studio recording, it's just them singing in the room. Enjoy.
together. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It brings back all these memories because that was... I remember, I think, them talking about it on Tumblr where it was actually them singing that um, when they weren't filming. And then Ryan Murphy liked it so much because they looked so, like, so happy together. They were like a family offset and they were just enjoying each other like an actual glee club and singing. So he said, hey, let's just put it on the show. So they did. And that was one of those, like, I think the only, for me, the only rare moment on Glee where you're just like, look how happy these cast members are with being around one another. And it was their real vocals. There wasn't any studio recording, like I said. It was just them, the camera, Finn's drums, and Puck's guitar, and just them enjoying each other's presence. And it's, ugh, I love it so much. Number five, Somebody to Love from season one. Now this song, I remember, this is probably what started off Glee being like one of those shows that I just, I know it will be with me for the rest of my life because their performance was so good. I remember it was an episode where Rachel was kicked out because she was doing Cabaret and April Rhodes, played by Kristen Chenoweth, was drunk during the performance so she couldn't go on but Rachel knew the song, she knew the choreography apparently. So she went on with them, and it ended up being like the first song, besides Don't Stop Believing Before, that was just like, whoa, Glee is good. I will never forget Amber's voice when she says, Somebody to love. So the song was great, and I just loved, oh, I loved it so much, I just loved the... Their hand, their, their hand, everyone knows that hand choreography, it's like a signature thing for Glee. Number four, Dog Days Are Over from season two. Now I know a lot of these songs are either group songs but with only two lead vocals, which is why it was very hard for me to do the duets one because I didn't want to include them in this one because it had ensembles in it, but then I found out that there were, so it was just really convoluting to my process, so I'm just going to put them in here. Now this one, I know it's like a duet between Mercedes and Tina because they're the only ones singing it besides, you know, the entire Glee Club. But this song, I even remember reading a review of this episode, they were saying that they should have performed this at, I think it was sectionals for that episode, or regionals, one of them, nationals? One of those performances for competition, that they should have performed that instead. And I agree, this song was so good, and of course then performing it live was even better. I didn't see it live, but I mean, I saw the concert on the movie. Um, but I just, ugh, it's so good, it was so it gave me chills, and it's Florence and the Machine. That was, song was so popular, but then Glee just made it so much better because of the ensemble and then Amber's vocals in it, and it's amazing. I just, I can never ever get over the song. I wanted, the minute I chose groups as a category, I knew that this song was going to be in the top five, and so I did. I put it in the top five, and that's why it's my favorite. Mm. Number three. Now you can't do a group song of Glee top songs without including Don't Stop Believing from Season 1. Of course, of course I had to include this song on the list. It's the song that made Glee Glee. And it's the one song that they all constantly, constantly re-recorded on the show and put it in future episodes. And in some ways it even made us like cry with it because like Rachel performed it for her audition, and it was like flashback with the other people performing it. And like I told you guys, when I went to go see Paley Fest, the Glee cast, um, which you can find here, we got to watch 2009, the episode, the second to last episode of the series, a week before it premiered. And the last song in the episode, like you guys remember, was Don't Stop Believing, just like in the pilot. And I just remember. The audience's vibe, their emotion, their powerful connection to why we love Glee so much, it, you could feel it in the room because we cheered so loud, we cried so much with that song. And another funny crying story with the song is that when I went to go see the movie, I went to the advanced Gleek screening um, in Colorado, and they, they opened up the movie with that song. I just remember once they started singing, I cried so much. For two reasons. One, 
I never got a chance to see Glee live, performing live, I mean. And two, I just loved Glee so much that I just I just started crying because I was like, I'm finally seeing like a really great performance of their concert and it's just so good. And in other videos, like I said, I used to watch the pilot all the time and I would always watch Don't Stop Believing and it got to the point where my parents were so annoyed that I was watching it almost like three times a week for like a month or three months or something that they just like, no, no more, no more. And that's why I had to include this in the list. It had to be in the top three at least because it is the song that makes Glee Glee. Don't Stop Believing from season one. Number two, I lived from season six. Now, of course, I had to add this song because it is the last song that they ever did on Glee and Glee history. And I still can't watch the video without tearing up because it's just all of them bringing every single person that's basically ever been on Glee has a spoken role or has sung on the show besides, you know, like the guest stars. Um, that they were just all on stage, they're paying homage to season one, don't stop believing, wearing red, but then they were wearing white too, white and red, so that was just that was so heartbreaking. And the song itself is I lived, I did it all. And they did, they lived their lives on Glee, like they did everything that they could have tried to do. And it was just so amazing and my favorite part is where Terry Schuster, Will's ex-wife, goes on stage and hugs him and then Emma's like... And of course, just it being the last song, it just brings such emotion to my body and it just... It's so heartbreaking. Watch it here. Watch it all the time. It's the last it's the last song that they ever did on Glee. You can't say, I hope they do that on Glee, because they won't. Mm -mm. No, sir. Now, before I get to my number one Glee group song, I have to include my top five honorable mentions. Closer from season four. Empire State of Mind from season two. Born This Way from season two. Express Yourself from season one and one from season one because whew, I remember I cried when I first watched that episode and now my number one pop glee group song is we are young from season three now this song I remember it, okay I have a whole lot to say about this I'm going to try to condense in like 30 seconds. I don't want us to go on any longer. Here I go. One, this song was given to the Glee cast and Ryan Murphy way before it was released by the group Fun. And so they performed it. They basically brought it to the charts. It was like number one on, I don't even know what. Um, and it basically brought Fun into the limelight and then they, their song went global and it was amazing. And two, they played this at my prom when, when I was graduating. It was the last song that they played and the DJ said, everybody come to the front of the stage. And he played the song and it was just like a concert. It was so weird because it was, everybody went on stage, we were all in the audience dancing and we were just saying, we are young. And it was just, it gave me chills just being there. That was the last song that they ever did at prom for me and it was our graduation, like it was our graduation number for us. And then Glee did it, and it was when everybody was kind of like all over the place, but then they all came together at the end of the episode and performed it together to come back as New Directions, as they always do. And I just remember the part that always gets me is the very end when they perform it, and then they just bring it into a big group hug, and it's like, yeah, we did it, we're group, we're Glee, we're New Directions, we are amazing, and the vocals are just amazing, and I just love that everyone was so happy performing it. You guys can find that performance here. And here you can find my other video from my old YouTube channel of all these performances mixed together of how I thought that Glee should have ended back in season 3. But it's like a bunch of flashbacks of them going to the song of Good Riddance Time of Your Life from the graduation album sung by Cory Monty. And I included that ending group hug in the last part of that video. And I still to this day I just love 
the history and the significance of how that song changed Fun's life, how it changed my life, how it brought them back together. It was just a positive song. It was so great, and that is why it is my number one group song by Glee. Well, that does it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday, or whatever day you're now watching this on. I, if you guys didn't get to see part one, part one is here. If you guys want to see my other top Glee videos, click here. If you guys just want to see any of my other Glee related videos, click here. And if you guys want to see any of my other videos, just click on here. Or, if you're not subscribed, which you should be, you guys can go on down there and click that subscribe button. I am not done with my top 10 Glee songs of categories, so be sure to be on the lookout for next week, probably next Wednesday or next Friday for my next video. It will be up and running, and that video will be my top 10 songs sung by Glee guest artists. So be on the lookout for that if you guys want to subscribe for all these other Glee videos. Um, I'm almost going to be done with posting Glee videos unless I decide to make more in the future. But I'll be posting other videos soon. I have other ideas. I have a great video for my one year channel anniversary, which I am calling it. So subscribe down there. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below what your top 10 or top 20 Glee group songs are. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your fellow Gleeks out there who just want to relive some great songs in Glee history, and Glee will live on. Don't stop believing, guys. Bye! Don't stop believing from season one.